I couldn't trust you Cause all you did was lie Oh no, I have to get you off my mind Cause of you Hi, good evening, everyone. How are you doing tonight? It is a very nice evening. In fact, today is the one-year anniversary of Tell It As It Is or Shut Up Guyana, okay? Uh, I figured it is only right and fitting that I do something this evening. In fact, a lot of persons wouldn't have known the show as Tell It As It Is or Shut Up Guyana uh, from the inception it was actually named something else okay and we're going to talk about uh what the show was named and why it was named that and when it started how it started who who got this whole thing into motion why i'm here i think that's very important for persons to know why i'm here but before i proceed let me first start by thanking right uh everyone everyone who supports the show everyone who supports the feed Right, uh, persons who watch the vlog, you know, uh, it's very important to thank all you guys because honestly, you know, uh, the message is one thing, but the persons that hear the message, the persons that that implement the message and the strategies that we actually give you guys here on the show, you know, you are the guys that actually keep everything alive. You are the ones that make this show what it is. So I wanted to thank all of you first and foremost. Okay, I would also like to thank, uh, you know. The people that give us challenges every day, right? Um, of course, you guys know we, we're coming live out of Guyana right now, by the way, right? Um, but yes, the persons who give us challenges, right, every day, I would like to thank you guys because it's just another bar for us to, to jump over. You understand? Uh, just something for us to keep moving, right? And remember, uh, everything I do is live and direct for the most part. And this is also... Uh, a live chat show so you can you can send your comments in you can ask certain questions things like that please try to be respectful uh any racial stuff i'm, I'm gonna block you right uh 
if your stuff is too rude, I'm going to block you. Just letting you know some of some of the rules of engagement when you're here on my page, especially if I notice you harassing people or saying a lot of nonsense, I'm going to block you, right? Um, <clears throat> it's very, very important for everyone to understand. Now, uh, tonight we do have three, let me show it real fast, gold coin giveaways, okay? Three gold coin giveaways, right? So I want you guys to see what's going on. Now, these are actually uh, collector item coins, right? Uh, we would have given a couple away already as prizes and stuff like that, <clears throat> right? So we actually still have three of them. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, uh, let me start with one of the giveaways real fast, uh, at least one of the giveaway questions, okay? Um, and I'm going to talk a little bit about it uh, before we leave the show tonight. And that question is, what was the original name of, and that's for the big gold coin, right? Because you would notice there's a couple different ones, right? But what was the original name that the tell it as it is or shut up show started with, right? Before we upgraded to the name tell it as it is or shut up, right? Uh, the answer is very evident, and uh, I don't think I don't think uh, many people are gonna remember, right? What the actual name of the show was? I, I think it was a I think it was a pretty fun name to have at that particular point in time, right? Um, you know. So that is one of the questions, okay? Uh, thank you, Tina. Uh, good night, Mona, Pamela, everybody, you know, uh, everybody there, everybody out there, you know, uh, sending congratulations. Thank you very much. It's not easy to be on social media uh, stating your opinion, right, for a year straight, especially in the hostile conditions of the Guyanese social media platform. Right. Um, that in itself is is a monumental task. And I'm very happy that I've been able to rise to the occasion and not take any of the bullying because there's always tons and tons of bullying. I'm very happy that I didn't let any of that bullying or anything affect me. OK, let me start by telling you, right. Uh, this has been one very interesting year. OK, so let's deal with our year of reflection. OK. Uh, and I think I think a year of reflection is very very important because this year, especially right here in Guyana, has been one very unusual year so far, right? Um, and for us, the Guyanese people, we we've experienced we've experienced record breaking circumstances. Take off my glasses for a minute. Yes, but we have experienced record breaking circumstances over this last year. Right. And um, sorry, everyone knows I like my tea. Mm -hmm. Tea is very, very good. Right. Uh, one of those record breaking circumstances so far, which is still ongoing, one of the biggest topics in the country is, of course, the Guyana 2020 elections, which started on March 2nd. And we are now <laughs> uh, July 3rd. OK, and the elections is still pretty much ongoing. Right. Um, <clears throat> like I said, that that in itself is an extraordinarily uh, long record breaking time for, I think, any election in the world. So at least Guyana got to go on the map. Not exactly the way I wished we would have went on the map, but that is, you know, it is what it is, huh? Right. So you get to know that a lot of people are out there and a lot of people are watching. Right. Uh, 2020, with everything that has went on. Right. Is also, in my opinion, the year, you know, that a giant dies. Right. And for those of you, if you've been uh, watching the Papa Snow vlog right on my personal page, you would understand what I mean by the death of a giant in 2020. Right. Um, I, of course, it, it was a it was a process that started in 2018. Uh, of course, uh, that process was delayed, and it just happened to be in 2020 that you know that process will more than likely be complete. Okay, uh, you know we could talk about that as well a little later on. Okay, um, this year, 
this year, the whole planet has had to come together because we have been affected by coronavirus or COVID-19. And that has significantly changed the landscape of our lifestyles, okay? A lot of people are still adjusting. Uh, a lot of people's lives were completely shattered by this. And I wanna send my sympathies and condolences out to all of the families who have been affected dramatically by COVID-19. And that is millions and millions of people, right? We're not just talking about the people who have suffered from the disease, who have uh, passed away, right? God, let their, peace, let their soul rest in peace. Uh, but I'm talking about all of the spin-off areas and issues uh, that would have been caused due to uh, COVID-19, okay? And there, there, there has been a lot of them, okay? Uh, everything from economies crashing to uh, to new to new powers coming out in different areas to there being a, a high degree of scrutiny on uh, the medical practices of laboratories and scientists all over the world because now shit got real. Okay, <clears throat> and you know, talking about the coronavirus, I would like people to know that despite what is happening and it being a global pandemic, okay, I have still noticed that in many areas, persons are still not effectively uh, catering to social distancing. Persons are still not practicing the necessary requirements to prevent the spread of coronavirus pandemic. And, and that's very, very sad because, you know, uh, it can come back again. So it is essential that all of us take a moment, take a chill pill, you know, uh, sit back, reanalyze how we live our lives so that we can systematically eradicate the coronavirus off of our planet in, in the way in which it has been spreading. Because this is very serious and it is still uh, very much a realistic threat to all of humanity. Okay, to all of humanity. Mm. Okay, let me just look real fast. Okay. All right, so I, I see that persons who are watching so far, persons have not been able to figure out the first question. Remember, the first question is reserved for the big gold coin. Okay, the second question that I'm going to put forward for the night for our gold coin trivia, okay, is a really easy one if persons have been paying attention, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to make a statement, and this excludes all editors of the page, okay, in question that I'm about to mention. So all persons who are editors, right, on the particular page, okay, uh, cannot answer this and actually win, okay? But the next question is, this year, we launched a Food Network page for Guyana. Okay, there's a real easy question out there for anyone who would like to win one of our gold coins, right? If someone can name the first person to name the page that we launched, dealing with cooking and Guyanese cooks from all around the world, right, you will win a gold coin. Okay, so that is the second question. All right, so make sure and remember, guys, all page editors are not allowed to answer this question. Okay, because you're a page editor. All right, uh, <laughs> so that is a positive thing. All right, so yes, uh, continuing with our year of reflection, you know. Uh, this year, especially for Guyana, well, like I said, everyone knows uh, one of the hottest topics have been election, but there are spin-offs to the Guyanese election. Uh, there's a lot of little feuds. Uh, there's tons of social media arguments. Um, there are, you know, I, I don't think we can keep track of the count of how many false information or how much false information is being spread or propaganda is being spread. There has been tons and tons of slander. When I tell you the closest thing 
to Hollywood that Guyana has is what's going on right now, I'm not lying to you. Okay? We, 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 we always liked the daytime drama, so we brought it to our political system, apparently. And it's there, and it's affecting us, right? This year, right, as part of our reflection, I can definitely tell you a lot of our viewers have finally had an opportunity to meet me and, you know, learn a little bit about me. And I've had the wonderful experience of meeting thousands upon thousands of new people. That is such an amazing experience. Um, you know, I, I look forward to seeing many other persons being able to come out on social media, share their vibes, share their opinion, and just really get their messages out, right? Because this is a venue that I use to get my message out, right, which is very important to me. But at the same time, we do tell it as it is. We do not, you know, we don't sugarcoat anything here. We, we pretty much give it to you as it is. We try to take out all the bullshit and, like, get straight to the point, right? Because definitely there, there's a lot of, like I said already, a lot of misinformation or false information out there. So, you know, uh, on reflecting on all of that was a need for a show like this to actually come out, something that can really get to the people the the honesty of what is happening in a non-biased approach okay <clears throat> now you know uh that that's just one area there so that's just a quick year of reflection you know i don't have all night i don't want to be here all night i don't want to waste your time either right uh but there have been a lot of wonderful things happening over this year there have been uh maybe a couple hundred extra persons that needed serious individual help and assistance. And I would like to thank the Job Fair Worldwide Network and all of the members and everyone who participates in our programs uh, for being involved in helping us to get uh, the, the type of care and the type of attention to the persons that need it, right? Um, especially the single parents that have been affected over the years. And, you know, uh, we're very, very happy that we were able to be of assistance, okay? so. I wanted to thank everyone who participated in that, right? Good night, Zahira, right? You're an amazing person. Indy, everybody. Uh, Priya, you know, you guys are superstars. Mona, you're amazing, right? Um, you know, so I just wanted to tell you guys that. Susan, a uh, quick shout-out to my boy Jafon, my brother, right? Uh, Raj, all my crew, Hart, everybody out there, you know, um, to my father, George Correa, to, you know, yeah, if I could sit here and name everybody, man, I I'll be here like forever, right? So let me let me just tell you straight, right? Um, special thanks to every and any one of you out there who has supported a fair and balanced opinion, okay, and who have supported getting the truth out to everyone. That has been like the ultimate goal of this whole thing, right? Now, um, now. We, we can start at the beginning in a sense, and I can tell you, right, uh, why this show had to come out, okay? Now, you would have noticed up until this year, I have not really been doing a lot of this social media feeding, talk shows, things, things of this nature. But, of course, after noticing all of the false media that is out there, all right, and all of the false reports and slander and basically misinformation that has been going out to the Guyanese population. You know, I, I, made the, I made the decision that I would start this show in order to clear the air, okay? In fact, um, with this show here, I wanted to focus in on a lot of issues that tend to go unnoticed in Guyana, okay? Because there are a lot of underlying issues that are happening to the everyday person here in Guyana that no one ever hears about everything from people from people trying to steal your land to, to innocent people going to prison to people being victimized due to political situations to police corruption to corruption in all of these uh, various agencies from the post office to the water company to, to GT&T who does always dep on scunt right uh, I can't even tell you I can't even tell you nay right um you know, just exposing a lot of issues that, that seriously affect the people. And not just exposing it, but taking you to the source of the problem. 
so that the world would be able to actually view it as the whole pie and not just a piece of the pie. Because as we know, uh, most of these people out there who like to spread false information, they like to give it to you in bits and pieces. You know, they'll mix a little truth there and they're going to put a lie and then, you know, you tend to believe it. So I just wanted to be able to be that voice, at least one of the voices out in the wilderness, right, uh, shouting out the truth so that those who are anxious enough to find what is righteous will at least have the opportunity to fight it, okay? At the same time, you will get some opportunities and uh, the privilege of hearing some of my particular uh, philosophical points and views, okay? Now, they may be a little different. I may live life a little different. But at the same time, I do believe that I've came with very good intentions and uh, at the same time, a good plan to help a lot of people out here, okay? I know a lot of people probably think that this show in itself is, uh, has a political nature, but the realistic implication of this show is not one of a political nature. It's just one of a very realistic nature, one that addresses the issues that, like I said, that are affecting us here in Guyana on a level which most persons do not notice. You know, some people know about it, but they don't talk about it. Those who talk about it don't have the proof about it. So what we try to do is we try to uh, accommodate everything by bringing all of the relevant information into a narrow scope so that you can really, really, you know, view it. So you can, you know, take your time and look around everything, put it all in front of you, right? And, and uh, sorry, not narrow scope, but a broader scope so that you can see everything in front of you, okay? And uh, it, it's, it's very important that persons get to see and hear this information, right? Because it's hard for you to make an accurate decision or even a feasible choice, right? Unless you have all of the information in front of you. So that's part of what this show is about. Uh, this future year, I, I definitely would like to see more growth in the show. Of course, you can look forward to seeing the show happening from our studio. Uh, very soon right and for persons who wish to come on board sponsors things like that uh, we are happy to have that so that we can get you more accurate information by having our reporters uh, on the ground getting you accurate direct up-to-date information right from a non-political point of view a non-biased point of view and just basically telling you as it is right so that is that is a very very uh, special thing right there, right? Okay. Now, uh, let's deal with a year of deflection. Okay? Now, this year we have had to deflect so many different attacks and misconceptions. It has been ridiculous. I myself, in my own personal realm, have come under so much uh, attacks. It, it's unbelievable that you would hear me say, you know, these days I get more debt threats than love letters. Uh, it's a serious thing. And, um, you know, I just want to tell everyone out there who actually takes their time to put their opinion out, people are going to judge you, man. People, people are going to abuse you. People are going to disagree with your point of view. I'm not here to please everyone. Shit, God can't please everyone. Okay? Right? And, uh... I'm just here to basically put out the information as I have received it, right? And uh, make sure that you guys don't have to go through all the bullshit of uh, all of the misinformation before you actually get it, right? And I also would like to be able to continue to give Guyanese people close and abroad, right, or far and near, right, the opportunity to really view Guyana because we don't just, you know, we don't just come and give you news. You know, we take you into the lifestyle of the average working class man here in Guyana or woman, right? But I can only give it to you from a man's perspective, okay? Right? And uh, I, I think it's important. I think it's, uh, I think it's relatively important that everyone outside still gets to see the conditions that the Guyanese population is still working under uh, in the year of 2020, right? Um, you get to compare, do some analysis between, you know, the economy 10 years ago, the economy five years ago, the economy currently. We get to talk about things that affect Guyana on not just a local level, but also an international level. Okay. And there are tons and tons of things that still affect Guyana. Okay. 
But as it stands of a year of deflection, it was not just a year in which I had to personally deflect negative attacks, but it is a year that the politicians in our country, Guyana, has had to be on a deflective path because a lot of them have said things and uh, what has transpired over this last year, I can definitely tell you it has opened the eyes of the world upon Guyanese politics and the systems that run our country here. And a lot of politicians have had to go into the defense mode to protect a lot of their actions from the past, what they're currently going on now. Some have done so successfully and some have attempted to do it and have failed miserably time and time and time and time and time again. So, <clears throat> we have seen the most court cases this year in terms of national incidents and issues. We have seen cases being brought up on the most frivolous of reasons. We have seen we have seen politicians over this last year forget how to count. All sorts of funny stuff has been going on, and they have been in a deflective mode uh, for quite some time now. Okay? Now, that's pretty much what we got to talk about on a year of deflection, okay? I think you could read into the rest without me spelling it out for you. But if you need a definite spell out, please just visit the Papa Snow vlog. And you will definitely get it, <laughs> right? In its full rawness at the same time. All right. This has become a year. 2020 has become a year of national protection, right? It is a year that you get to see real patriots of Guyana rising once again. After maybe about 20 years, 30 years, real patriots have been taken to the road to protect the democracy of our country. I salute you all, guardians of democracy and everyone else who has stood up for the validity of our constitution to be kept and to be followed, right? It is a year that everyone who does not follow the constitution has been blatantly exposed. It is a magical year, this 2020. I don't think too many people understand how, what a magical year this is, right? 2020 is a year that the people have stood up. And I believe it is the beginning of the actual industrial and financial revolution that Guyana needs. Because a majority of the bandits in the country have exposed themselves, right? 2020, ladies and gentlemen, like I stated before in my vlog, is the year a giant dies. Right? So we need to ensure that one of the horrible titans that have affected the country for so long with negativity and racism and, and just negative propaganda and turning the people against each other, right? This giant has become the weakest it has ever become. And I believe it is time to put the nail in the coffin of this giant and let this giant sleep into peaceful bliss and salt slumber until eternity reaches its feet, right? Because the people of Guyana are in, now in a position that we are about to experience significant growth, and that growth needs to be accurately managed, right? This year, we have seen a real coalition being born, right? A coalition of the people we have seen the birth of so many new groups and young, brilliant minds coming to the forefront of our country. We have been able to see the rise of people like Mr. Jonas, Mr. Schumann, Ms. Asha, right? Dr. Kanai, Josh, right? Dr. Ford. We have been able to see brilliant young people. And of course, middle-aged people like myself, like like Schumann and Jonas, and them boys, them right, because we're all kind of kind of headed there, right, right. Um, but coming to the forefront, right, and um, like I said, you know, this year, this year sparked a catalyst, and it was a catalyst for something that needed to be sparked, right. And I'm hoping that the people of Guyana this year uh, can start to witness who really has their interest at heart. 
right? I'm hoping that this year can end with a sense of national unity and inspiration that has never been seen before, an unprecedented national togetherness that has never been seen before. I'm hoping that we can end this year like this. As it stands, though, for our one-year review, I don't think Guyana has been has ever been blatantly more divided in terms of speaking and opinion as it is currently at this moment. We are at a potential verge of what may or may not be a civil war. We are at the potential verge of, you know, of a lot of things, you know, of a lot of positive things as well. It just really depends on if the country can come together and make some positive decisions. Okay, we have had to take a stand this year. This year, the actions uh, that were carried out by politicians this year in our country, it has forced the average man to to have to make a stance, right? And it's a stance that if it is not made correctly, everyone in this country can suffer for it. Okay, so I want you guys to think about that. Right, and I wanted to thank everyone who has stood up to protect the democracy of our country. Okay, very important. It has been a year of trolls, by the way, right? And a year that we have had to battle on a new frontier. Facebook uh, has gotten really, really uh, crazy over this last year, especially for Guyanese who speak their mind on social media. Right, so we have all had to rise up to the occasion to battle on the social media platform on behalf of the, our country's democracy. So all of this is part of a year of national protection. So I salute all of our social media warriors like myself who has stood up in the name of democracy. Okay, so big thing. All right, now for 2020, it is also a year that Guyana can see a wonderful transformation if we make the right decisions. If we don't, I can definitely tell you that that transformation may head in a different direction, right? A direction that we might not want it to really head, right? Um, especially saying what's currently going on, that, you know, the Treasury is empty. Uh, there are now certain sanctions upon us, right? There are uh, personal sanctions and everything like that being met out to certain people here in this country we you know we like i said there there's so much there's so much negativity and corruption that is still ongoing in guyana and if we can correctly carry on our electoral system as it should be carried on in fairness and justice right then this country does have the possibility, a high probability as well, that everyone in Guyana would be able to benefit financially, you know, um, you know, socially in a cohesive manner, right? We would be able to benefit in, in just an enormous way, right? Um, this year, we have seen the people stand up for their will. We have seen the people exercise a great deal of patience, by the way, the amount of patience that I have seen exercised by the Guyanese people in this country, right? I, I, I did not think that that would be possible. But let me also state the obvious and the facts. That if the delays were caused by the other side, this, this patience in this process, there would have been none. There would have been chaos. Right, so they would have been a lot, a lot of chaos, okay, going on uh, if, if, if the shoe was on the other foot. I'm pretty sure of it, right? But that's just my opinion. It's my honest opinion, but that is my opinion, right? So that is a positive, a positive thing that, uh, that the country has been able to hold their head and stay calm for a certain amount of of time okay however I do believe that uh, there's a time and place for everything and I know that 
the road that many were driving on, they have run out of road. So we are all anxious to see what is happening. We have seen our electoral system basically taken all the way to the CCJ. And, you know, it is what it is, right? So for a year of transformation, let's hope that we can, we can harness the spirit of togetherness and at the same time, right, uh, have a spirit of defensiveness, knowing what is going on in the landscape around us, right? Uh, one of the best things that we can do right now, ladies and gentlemen, is be aware, all right? And uh, in order to be aware truly, you need to ensure, okay, that you are aware of valid facts, okay? Uh, so try not, to, try not to soak up a lot of misleading information. Try not to be Facebook guinea pig. Don't be a guinea pig on Facebook where people could test you out and draw you out and drag you out with information, okay, or with incorrect information, all right? So uh, I wanted to congratulate all the people of Guyana for the amount of patience that we have all been able to exercise uh, over this hard and troubling time that we are currently going through, okay? So just bringing that into focus here. Now... Going back to our comment section, we are currently looking to see if anyone was able to answer any of our gold coin giveaways, right? Gold coin giveaways, right? You will get the answers to these questions, right? By tomorrow on my vlog, which is the Papa Snow vlog, okay? Uh, this year, I can definitely tell you, uh, we have had a really fun year so far. Uh, despite all of the craziness that's been happening with the elections, with coronavirus, you know, with, with the normal problems as well that we face in our day-to-day -day life, right? I can definitely tell you uh, I've had a very nice journey, pleasant journey, uh, in which a lot of our viewers were able to, to join me while I was traveling in and around certain areas in Guyana. Uh, we had the start of the farm project, okay? Um, you know, I got a new pet bull, which was very interesting. And I also got a new pet chicken and family, apparently. Right? Uh, sounds funny, but, you know, it's pretty interesting because it leads me to my final gold coin question. Okay. Right? What is the name of the first two fowl cocks? that I have put in my yard and the name of my pet bull, okay? Those of you who watch, right, you need to give all three names, okay? The name of my two fowl cocks, the first two fowl cocks that I collected this year, right? And the name of my new pet bull, okay? So persons who can answer that question will be able to earn a gold coin. And let me give you the other two questions, okay? You also need, need ah, there you go. We have somebody who has just won one of the gold coins. That is Marita Manuram Khan. Congratulations, right? The name of my first two falcocks, right, that we collected as pets this year. One is John Crow, right? who passed away, and the other is George, right? The Red Man Falcock. And, of course, my baby boy, Sebastian the Bull, who is also my security bull, right? And, yes, ladies and gentlemen, those of you, Zahira, Marita beat you to it, girl. She beat you to it, right? All right, uh, I'm going to give... I'm going to give you the second question that we had asked to see who will win the next coin. And that is, what is the full name of our new Guyana Food Network Facebook page? Okay? That is the second question. Okay? Because these are all things that has happened over this year. Right? 
we had the launching of the page. It was really, really cool. Very nice. We, we had a lot of amazing, talented Guyanese people coming to the front, right? Uh, persons like P Priya Ramnarain uh, from Priya's Kitchen, right? Terry, the Jersey Griller, right? Uh, we had uh, Mona Sharma. We had Vaco, right? Vaco is like the adventurer, you know? Vaco, Vaco, man. Vaco makes all, all, all the unusual dishes, you know, like my boy cook up some alligator, cook up some iguana, stuff like that. And it's really amazing to see them on the food page uh, because it does show a lot of traditional things, things the Guyanese eat, bush cook, stuff like that, right? And we have been able to get hundreds of Guyanese persons to participate and to come on board with our international uh, food network page for Guyana. So remember, make sure you guys name that page, the first person to name that page, right? will win a gold coin and remember these are collector's items gold coins from the obama administration so they do go up in value all right these are uh, were made by the u.s mint and treasury right uh, i believe it's u.s mint treasury is something different right and uh you know that's for the second right okay let's see Okay, and, and of course, you know, ladies and gentlemen, um, there always has to be some silly, some silly mofo who, who just kind of comes up, right, on, uh, on our page and does something stupid, right? Uh, you know, like Adam Inglesius, right, who seems to have been a long-term troll, harassing women and saying all sorts of negative things. Right, you know, so uh, did want to bring bring that about, right? Uh, not not even sure who this little troll is, but you know, we we had to definitely thank him and all because he has made the show kind of interesting, right? He has no idea that you know his, his talks really really uh, you know, just add to the vibe, huh? And it helps to showcase the ignorance that's going on in the world currently, as well as some of the attacks that we normally have to deal with. Okay? So it is kind of crazy. Right? Hopefully one day he can grow a penis and grow up and just, you know, be a man. Right? And stop harassing and bothering women who tend to watch this program. But what can you do? Right? Uh, every page has one. Okay? All right, and uh, of course, our first question, right? Uh, first question for the big coin giveaway because, yes, we do have bigger gold coins because they do come in different sizes, shapes and sizes, okay, right? And that is, before we were called the Tell It As It Is or Shut Up Show, okay, what was the actual name of the show, okay? Now, that is an unusual one, right? And uh, I don't think too many people would be able to guess that, right? It, for, for somebody to be able to guess that, you probably would have had to have been watching the show for a little while, right? Uh, but that one, good night, Shireen, right? Uh, but that one definitely uh, I will give the answer to. At the end of this show, because that one, uh, I think, would be a little hard for a lot of people, okay? In fact, I will be giving that answer in about five minutes right before I close off this show for the evening. All right. But, yes, uh, enough talk about what we've been doing for the year. You know, uh, I want to tell you a little bit about what some of our members and uh, supporters have been doing for the year. Right, because it's important to uh, give Jackie Jacket, right? Guyanese people would know, you know, give Jackie Jacket, right? So I wanted to thank, you know, persons like Zahira, persons like Shireen, persons like Marita, you know, uh, persons like Priya, Yasoda, you know, uh, Terry, Vaco, hey, Floyd, Floyd, everybody, right? Um, Shoba, definitely, you know, uh, all of you, right? I would like to thank all of you, 
and everyone else who has participated. Once again, let me thank George Karaya. Let me thank uh, the persons who would have sponsored uh, our shows throughout this year, persons who would have came on board in support of what it is that I do here, right? Um, and let me also ask everyone who is watching, please, right? Uh, this particular person, Adam Inglesias, he is a troll, right? Uh, everyone, when you have an opportunity, please block him and any other account associated with him, right? And also report the fake profile for harassing persons. I would like to thank uh, my good friend, Amanda Penner, my manager, okay? I would like to definitely thank you. And I'm so sorry that jackasses like this one, Adam Inglesias, uh, has been harassing you. Uh, I'm very, very sorry about that. One day, I guarantee, girl, right, when the cameras are off, we'll pay him a visit, right? Um, next thing, I would like to thank Donna Elizabeth. Just, you know, there's so many, there's so many amazing, amazing people, okay? And uh, forgive me if I forget to mention your name right now. Uh, it is thousands of people that I know. Please do understand that. I am also in charge of a global network, a humanitarian network, with over 200,000 people, right? So let me thank all of our network members from the Job Fair Worldwide Network, right? And all of our supporters. Let me thank our network uh, managers, our country managers, our country reps, right? Out in Ghana, uh, out there in Bangladesh, right? Out in Canada out in the US, you know, uh, Australia, Pakistan, India, you, you know, the UK, right? Uh, big up to everybody in Surrey, London, right? Uh, our people out in Germany, big up to every, every hardworking freelancer in our network that are uh, applying their trades every day through some of the platforms that we work on, such as Fiverr, uh, I believe uh, uh, one is Upwork, you know, uh, Twitter, uh, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, all of these, all of these other areas, right, uh, that definitely allow us the opportunity to make an honest living while working from our computers at home and improving the quality of life, right? Um, in advance, let me tell my boy Terry, the Jersey Griller, please send birthday wishes to your wonderful daughter right on behalf of me and everyone associated with the network and every positive minded viewer uh of our show right uh just wanted to tell you you know uh thank you for your support thank you for participating in the food programs thank you so much uh it means more than you you even know because i'm actually able to find brilliant Guyanese who are willing to participate in getting things done here in our country and you help us to unite Guyanese far and wide all right that is that is so essential for the growth of our country uh you know remember I always state this in almost every episode right uh special happy birthday out to Mona Sharma's son right uh you know Wishing many more to your son, of course, to your daughter as well, Terry. Looks like looks like like brilliant people and 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 good people have had their children, you know, on the same day. God, God is miraculous. Watch how everything happens, right? Um, you know, so I did want to make sure that uh, that everyone that everyone knows what is going on. Okay, boom, I finally catch him to block him out. So, Adam, I just block your scunt. Yeah, right? It wasn't letting me block you from the regular system. But I get through here now, and I blocked you. At least one of your accounts. And it's okay. It only takes me, you know, about five seconds to block you, right? And it's going to take you maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes of your time to go and set up another account in which you can use to try to harass people. Right, so you know, ladies and gentlemen, just help us out. Report this Adam Inglesias because he is like someone that, and you could report him for harassment, right? 
And if at any point in time you need evidence of this harassment, we have copied all of the negative stuff that he has said, and we have built a file so that we can have him exterminated off of Facebook. Okay? Of course, he'll come back as something else, but we'll just block him again. Right? It's actually pretty easy. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for all of the support and everything that you have showed to me and to our network and for taking the time, right? Because I don't know if a lot of people ever thank you guys, but for taking the time out of your hectic lives and schedules to listen to my humble opinion, right? And uh, for everyone that I have disrespected during the year, right? I humbly apologize that I did not do it earlier because most of you deserve that shit. Okay, so let me just tell you that like right away. I just want to get that out there, right? So don't think an apology is coming. It was the truth, okay? So I kind of had to dig it in you. If you don't want people telling the truth, don't go and do stupid shit, okay? Very simple, all right? Um, you know, to my mom and everyone, right, to my mother, okay, who constantly had heart attacks thinking that somebody was going to come and kill me right away, mama, don't worry, girl, right? Uh you know, the bad guys stay away from terrible people. So if they got sense, they're going to stay away, right? Uh, you know, I wanted to thank all the haters, okay? Because you haters, you haters, you know, you guys give me fuel every day with every negative comment. It's more gas in the engine, okay? Uh, I have learned to convert negativity to energy, right? Which is even like a more important reason why you need people like me in the right places, Okay, that means your energy bill will drop. Okay, I'll show you how to use your energy, right, correctly, right. Uh, shout out to my sister Susan, right. Girl, you have always been a hero to me. I know you think that I have been a supporting factor to you, but this life is a circle. You have given me inspiration throughout this lifetime to see how you have handled bravely your battle with cancer and now you have a wonderful beautiful family right i am i am i am just so thankful to god that i am able to see your dreams come true you know miracles happen all the time but most of the time we are, we we are too proud or we're playing too much of ourselves to notice when those miracles happen, right? So I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, open your eyes. God does miracles every day. That simple shit that you take for granted, right? Those are those are miracles that you have yet to thank him for. So make sure that, you know, you, you appreciate the things that you have. You appreciate having a positive circumstance or situation. You appreciate being blessed if you have not been affected, right? The most that I could tell you about this whole year is that I have more reasons to be thankful than I do to be depressed or angry, right? Um, you know, I had a ton of fun this year, by the way, uh, because it's been the first time in a very long time that I've been able to really express certain issues and get the truth out because realistically speaking, ladies and gentlemen, there's been so much false information and negativity put out there about me to destroy my character in order to keep me out of the political landscape. Uh, but many years ago, I learned that I technically don't need to be politically involved to fix my country. I just need to be more active in the humanitarian effort, right? Because the problems that are affecting our country affects all human beings within it. And if we can just garner a spirit of productivity for everyone, then I can tell you Guyanese have the ability to fix their life without the corruption, right? So, you know, there's, there's been a lot that's transpired this year, and I'm thankful. I'm thankful that we've been able to get out the messages that we have, okay? Uh, I can definitely tell you um, within a short space of time, we now have over 2,600 persons following our page uh we're hoping that by year end maybe we could hit a ten thousand mark 
for this particular page as we evolve into more news, uh, more factual based, uh, you know, news that's out there as opposed to just my opinion based on certain facts. Of course, you know, when a baby born, a baby must grow up. So this is the one year birthday of this baby. Tell it as it is or shut up, Guyana. And I look forward to having many, many more years of positive news, information, encouragement, uh, but honesty, honesty within our society uh, by way of social media or any other venue that we, we will be able to you Okay, and there has just been a horrible accident outside of our building. So ladies and gentlemen, I have to, I have to come off of this accident, right? A big one, right? So I have, I have to come off of this, ladies and gentlemen. I will be coming to you live in just a moment from the accident. Thank you very much. Have a good night.